lovely seeing you. Yeah, it always feels very normal, doesn't it? it? When does. you just come back, it's oh, like, you know. Got a little tickle. Yeah, this is, just, <laughs> this is just strange. I bet you dressed up a few times on this show. I have you? had <laughs> some good times on this, dressing <laughs> up, actually. And, and, and just, it feels like coming home here because yeah. you all are such great mates. And, uh, and I really appreciate your friendship. I really, Aww. really do. I well, didn't miss you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you as Chuffinick. well. Chuffinick. Chuffinick. <laughs> but would you go as sexy or as funny? Or oh, funny. Funny. I don't do sexy. Look. I don't. <laughs> I, I've tried, but it just do not end up the right way. No, me neither. You know? <laughs> no. As you can tell. <laughs> would you still rather have a cup of tea? I would love. I know, <laughs> and I'm sorry, Ed, but you know. It's just how it is, you know. <laughs> At least it's like cup of tea. Yeah, I don't like a cup of tea. And you can have it any time you want. You just flick a switch and there I it know. is. There it is. You know, what so can I say? So when you say you're riding the waves, you don't mean that. <laughs> no, no. Exactly. Well, look, your book is out today. It in fact, is. Jane, yes, Riding the Waves, my story. And we did mention just before the break that Kay, in fact, gets a mention. Indeed, Loose Women we gets get a mention. mention. Yeah, yeah, it gets a mention. But yes, yeah. Kay, you, did, you, you were in there. And I'll let you explain why, Jane. Oh, no, well, what's happening? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry, I haven't got flowers or anything. Uh, um, it's... Um, when, when I went through one of the worst times of my life with Henrik uh, leaving me... <gasps> no, thank mm. God he did, really. <laughs> um, so, cos... No, don't be sad, because um, I've met Ed now and he's, he's lovely. Gorgeous. So, you know, so... It's not a sad Fate. time. Uh, but I, I came on to Loose Women. Um, that was my first TV appearance after my world had collapsed mm. and and Kate was just so wonderful with me and made me feel so oh, special you. and so wanted and you were just so really lovely Aww. and got me through a really difficult interview and I'll never forget you for that it was Aww. just lovely <laughs> and that's why I mentioned her in the book because I think it's it's very important to be grateful to the people who've helped you, and uh, and that's and that's what I've done, you know. But the reason that you know we all kind of took you in that is because you were just so honest, mm. you know. And you know it's very difficult to come on to any situation like this. And you know we all chat, chat, chat. But this was your life. This was you know a real difficult period in your life. So it must be so stressful to be sitting there. But you were just so honest with it, and you didn't slag Henry Cole. No, I still uh, but mm. you were very honest about your heart. And I think you know you handled it so so wonderfully. And and so how, you know. It was... How did it feel writing? The book because a lot of people go oh yeah I'm gonna write a book it'll be easy it's not is it because you're kind of writing about yourself yeah, and you're delving like quite deeply yeah I did not like the experience at all mm. and because uh, everything is in there what what's happened and I'm not very good at facing my flaws or my failures I'm I'm a person who's positive and on the next thing I don't look back I'm always looking forward so having to look back at what a a difficult journey it had been. Mm. If somebody had said to me before it all started, this is going to happen to you, but you're going to have to go through that first, I would have probably had second thoughts. Mm. Because although our lives look so fantastic on the outside, there's all sorts going off at, at the back. Mm. And, uh, and that's why I've put it all in the book, because it hasn't all been plain sailing. Mm. No, no, no. I mean, I've, I've read the book, Jane, I've got a sneak preview, and the one constant, I'm not going to make you cry, because, no. you know, but the constant of your mum. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it really shines through in, in the book, like, just from the very outset. Because you're a shy child, which I very shy. didn't know. Yeah. Um, and she was just there. She was amazing, and I, I feel very blessed to have had parents like I had. You know, my dad was so encouraging and was my roadie for all those years. And all those fantastic times that I had on the road with him and talking to him and, and learning from him. And then when my dad passed away, my mother sort of took the baton. And it was as if I had the backup of each parent at the right time. And, uh, and now she's passed the baton on to Ed. Yeah. who's now taking that role as well and doing it magnificently, darling. Thank you. <laughs> what, did you um, what did you learn about yourself at the end of the book? I learned tenacity. And I learned that no matter how many brick walls 
and doors are slammed in our faces every day. I just will not be stopped and I will not think that's a failure. I'll just think, right, OK, I'll find another way around that. And I've also learned that you get an awful lot more done with humour and a smile than you do being angry and just try and change the vibration and things will always work out right. Mm. <laughs> We're talking there, Jim, we've been talking about, because of the nature of the day, um, psychic abilities. Mm. And you do have a belief in that, don't you? I've had so much proof. I cannot not believe. Mm. And, you know, one of my best friends is a, a guy called Steve Holbrook, who has known me since we were kids running round, you know? And my grandmother was a president of Wakefield Spiritualist Church, and she actually trained Steve. And he's predicted so many things for me along the way. And then he'll ring me and say, I've had your daddy, I've got to tell you this and this and this. And trust me, the proof that he has come up with, there must be something. I hope there's something after this, because I want to see my mum and my dad again and say mm. thanks. And I want to feel that love again. So if that gives me comfort Absolutely. and that gives me I, hope, yeah. mm -hmm. then I'm going to keep believing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jane, as always, it's always too short a amount of time, but we love having you back. And like Aww. we say, it's all in the book, and it's such an honest account, as you say, of mm. the ups and the downs. Yeah. Um, riding the waves, my story, out today. Big tour, or well, yeah. it's come up to Christmas yeah, as well Yeah, 20th and the 21st of um, mm. uh, Birmingham Arena and Leeds Arena. Please come and see, it's a big Christmas party. Come and have a party with Would me. Would you like some? <laughs> yes. In the front row. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. That'd be great. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, she's brilliant. Jim McDonald. Thank you.